Bella Light. Never heard of it, but it's making me thirsty. This is Stevio, and we are in Farming Simulator 22. It doesn't even sound right, does it? We are finally here. We waited three years. The most comments I see, and you know, personal opinion I always want to know is how American is this game going to be? Now in Farming Simulator 15, 17, uh, 19, now in 22, the ones, all the games prior, all the equipment, all the buildings, everything had that European feel, that European vibe to them. And us in uh, American, we kind of had to wait until all the modders got the feel of the game and everything and can make us some U.S. Uh, tractors and for the most part that's why a lot of people drag their feet when it comes to getting a new game uh, as you all know Giants moved over to the states now I understand that this game is played throughout the whole entire world many countries and everything but you know there's a big time pull a lot of money coming from the US buying this game so do we get a feel of it and the answer might surprise you, might not. With that said, pay attention to the end of this video and I'm gonna give you everything that's most improved and everything that I think Giants might have missed on a little bit. Now, for the most part, I have to say, there is definitely some US equipment in this game. There's a lot of equipment, let's just say, less some to be desired. Let's, let's, oh, there was a deer sighting. Did you guys see that? Oh, that was my first deer sighting. Man, that deer had some wheels on it. Man, I spooked that deer. Let's go in here. You guys are all wanting to see this now. I know a lot of videos are out there doing, uh, all the in-game tractors and everything to me this is what i saw a lot working the giant fields and the great plains of nebraska in the area this is not a versatile but it looks exactly like any versatile you would see out there now versatile is based out of canada i know there's going to be a lot of comments down there it's not really u.s based but there is a lot of track versatile tractors sitting around the farms a lot of them you know that's their big horse on their farm now their newer versatile is actually versatile that was uh, i believe a german based uh, tractor uh so you could see i i don't believe this tractor in the states comes this way but i haven't seen one close up in person so i couldn't tell you exactly uh the one tractor i did see is this 9r now as you see design you could change it to us you can change your tire selection here and you know i'm just a michelin man see that that's what i'm talking about so there's a big there's an axle going through hooks up to the tractor also hitch that's a us base hitched so let's see uh you guys have all kind of know the where let's go this is definitely this would be a european hitch right here the quick attach these two hitches right there are usually you find them mostly in european area that's more of a european design hitch now let's go to equipment here uh so this uh rock trailer here side dump man that that looks cool for in-game trailer man that is cool i have to say you for grain uh i'm sure some people are going to try to use this but i've never seen one of this except maybe out of the ethanol plants and everything hauling the cake they come out of there so we do get a uh, wilson trailer here this is you find this all around the heartland of the u.s train trailers i'm sure you see it in a lot of other countries too you i think this type of trailer you'd see it mostly in the canada area so grain carts do we get a uh, american so we always kind of got a, a american 
grain cart here, Elmer's Hallmaster. So uh, yeah, you see a lot of these on the States. Uh, Dimco, that's a sweet, sweet grain cart. Uh, you don't see a lot of these, I have to say. For where I live and around here, we don't have big enough fields to really support something like that. But a lot of people drive some pretty big grain carts, like Larson Farms and everything. Ton of corn heads. So, I mean, this is pretty American. You got the stock stompers and choppers down there. Very American head. Is this an 18 inch? Man, is that short. That would work great down corn and everything getting in. I don't know if that means 22 inch uh, rows, I believe, maybe. So this is a 30 inch that John Deere we saw before was a 30 inch, another 30 inch, eight row. So very American forage harvesters head. Uh, I don't know a ton about forage harvesting. You know, there's a lot of forage har harvesting going on in the states. So this you see a lot around the states, especially when they get the deep freezes and everything. They have to pick them giant rocks out of the earth in Montana, Minnesota, all them places. Plows, more of our plows are kind of a, they're completely gone out of the states just because it kind of really tears up the ground we don't have there's some there's some out there but there's not a lot of that done now uh, you don't see many uh, small implements like that around the states so cultivators here I have never I've actually seen one of these we have a cloth dealer down the street from us very I haven't seen them sell a lot of equipment but they do have one of these which I've never thought I would see in the state side so yes there is some but you don't see it a lot on the side of the road or in the fields and everything this Volstead you might see some version of this but not I mean, there's a lot of tillage is going out unless it's absolutely necessary, like in the colder areas to uh, get the ground to unthaw. You see a lot of these now, speed disc, but as I said, there's a lot of no-till in my area. So, so plant cedars, of course. Do we get a... So, here I think it's kind of a, a miss. We should... We, we kind of got more of the drills. You don't see many of these around my area, at least. Uh, I have never seen one of these, to be honest, in my area. So these planters, though, we do got a, a lot of Kinsey's. Of course, you see a ton of this John Deere. I believe this is a 60-foot head, 24-row. You see them all over the place around here and the Kinsey this is another uh, center fill big giant 24 row 60 foot I believe so uh, so Baylor's oh yep inline Baylor like this this is pretty common around our area we my dad used to own one exactly like that to be honest we got uh, we don't really got of a u.s american version baylor though i don't really see one around here so uh do we got a Mar you see some of these you i mean you see mostly round bales where i'm at you don't see a lot of people wrapping just because our climate doesn't really make it necessary so augers do we get one now this is definitely something you would see around the countryside pretty cool little auger you've seen welker's farm uh farm was use one of something like that i don't know if it's a zach brand so let's get our equipment stop messing around how does a map feel does it feel american compared to a giant's map this does kind of feel more american
the actual uh, map breakdown here. This is more the US version is all of our fields are very close together. We got an interstate running through, which is kind of cool to be honest. Kind of looking forward to driving down that interstate with a freaking Mack truck shifting the gears because we got manual transmission. What's more American than that? Look at all these fields. So I have to say compared to other Giants maps, this is, they kind of hit home on the field placement here most of the buildings don't to me really feel american uh, maybe it's just because of where i'm at definitely the dealership there doesn't really uh remind me some of the stores though american feel to it and wow i honestly was uh I really expected the map to just keep on going on right there. I tried to get every American-ish equipment. You have to leave me down in the comments. I'm sure I missed a lot of them. Dang, this doesn't even have a hazard in the back. Uh-oh. Don't. The cops are gonna get us. Yeah, beans. this is a slow-moving uh, equipment. It has to have that little triangle on the back there, and I don't see it. It must be oversight. It should be right back there where that green tank is. Now I've heard that this harvester is as wide as possible, as wide as it possibly can. So the harvesters in the future are most likely going to get longer. And if you could tell by the nine series case on the other side of it, it is a, l a tad longer than it course harvesters are going to get bigger and bigger now they've gotten so big they can't legally pull them down the the roads anymore so now those are going to have to be longer now one of the fallbacks is uh these duels on this nine series harvester i don't know if you could really if you could tell or not but man are they just too small i mean we need some 900, 800s, 900 size duels for us uh, muddy farmers in the field. Start this girl up. There we go. So we're going to take this down to our farm. Now look how wide that girl is. Looks good going down the field. Yeah, we, I guess I probably should have put my hazards on before I started driving this white girl. You got to take two lanes in this behemoth. So, you guys are probably asking, so what are the biggest hits? What are the biggest messes? Uh, I got to say, some of the equipment, I am extremely happy we get a Mack truck in game here. Well, I just barely missed that turn okay pull out here really enjoy the manuals on these trucks man is that so cool uh, just how realistic this looks man I can't, I'm just gonna love driving semi down the road so this the tractors a lot of the tractors not all the tractors but a lot of the tractor some of the tractors are 10 in my book here uh the harvesters mm, some of them i think they could have did a lot better job in my opinion that's just me the buildings and everything to me honestly i think they missed it's on the bottom the maps kind of in the middle i really would prefer a more of a, a lone creek type feel of map to be honest this tractor is one of the biggest misses on this. Why, Giants, couldn't you make a U.S. version of this tractor? Y'all know I love playing the old school type tractors. Really, really wish this came without a front three-point hitch. So the side uh, exhaust like this, at least in the States, was the 60 series. It wasn't the 55. You'd be staring down, intake and exhaust pipes in the front of your windshield here. But 
man, I can't wait for Modern to change this into uh, a American style because, oh my goodness, I'm gonna love playing. The graphics of this tractor inside and everything are just phenomenal. I can't ask for anything better. I think this game is extremely worth it. I would buy this game 10 out of 10. I really hope that all the dedicated modders can get us some sweet looking US version equipment. So you guys are probably always asking yourself, why did you spend so many, so much time away? Yes, yes I did. Short answer is I had a lot of stuff going on and a lot of issues. Long answer, we can get into that on a live stream. But thank you all for watching. This is Stevie O, and I am out.